It has felt a little bit more like a winter out there today. We've been tracking some rain and some snowflakes for parts of the area, but a lot of us are adjusting the clouds. This is a quick check of our camera in Metropolis. Again, not a whole lot of activity going on. Most of it is focused off to our southern counties. We do still have some rain falling back across parts of western Kentucky. That does extend into northwest Tennessee and back into the boot heel. There is a potential for maybe a few snowflakes, heavy wet snowflakes mixing in back across parts of northwest Tennessee and then into Dunklin and Pemiscot counties uh, off into southeastern Missouri before this completely moves out of the region, but really not expecting any major impacts. This system has continued to shift further to the south and that has put an end to some of our snow chances. Temperatures are really just too warm. Most of us are even still in the low to mid 40s. We've got Dixon Springs at 43 along with Carbondale and Mount Vernon. Even some of our coolest areas only in the upper 30s. Union City at about 39 degrees along with Big Spring. So just not warm enough to get some of that snowfall uh, falling and uh, for it to be a concern. So this rain and snow that we are tracking this evening is actually going to start to move out within the next couple of hours and then for the next couple of days it's actually looking pretty nice we are going to see that sunshine return and it is going to come with some mild temperatures temperatures will continue to stay above average as we head throughout the week we just have to get through the next couple of hours before we start to see more mild weather coming our way this is a wider look of what we're tracking this evening again you can see all of that heavy rain falling back across parts of kentucky extending down down into uh, Tennessee and then that little pocket of snow staying just to the south of our viewing area. Again, not going to quite cause us any issues so we can all rest easy. Shouldn't uh, have too many issues getting around. The rain that we see right now is going to move out again fairly quickly. By the time we get to about 10 o'clock, that rain is already off to our south and east and then the clouds quickly break up behind that. So mostly clear skies expected to, re to return as we head through the overnight hours. And then by the time we get to your Tuesday morning, waking up to a lot of sunshine and then mostly sunny conditions stick around throughout the entire day on Tuesday. So really a beautiful day in store for us tomorrow, and it comes with some pretty mild temperatures as well. It'll be a chilly start. We'll see those temperatures dropping down close to 30 degrees as we kick off the day. And then by the time we get to about that lunchtime hour, we'll see temperatures climbing back up into the mid 40s. And then as we head into the afternoon, low 50s for highs, so back above average, 53 degrees. Keep that Storm Track 3 app around, of course. You can uh, download that app right there on your phone and you can track some of this rain and snow as it's making its way through the region, but it's very short lived. The rest of the week looks pretty fantastic. We are actually going to see temperatures continue to warm up into the upper 50s by the time we get to the middle of the week. Our next system comes through by the time we get to Friday that is going to drop temperatures back down quite a bit. So we will see a, another little cold shot of air. So by the time we get to Saturday, we're waking up to temperatures in the 20s, 38 degrees for that high, which seems pretty chilly, but it is winter and it's short lived. By the time we get to Sunday and Monday, temperatures right back into the 50s. Well, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, overall pretty spring-like, mm -hmm. so yeah. no complaints. Not bad at all. All right, thanks, JC.